Hey guys, Bob here with another cooking video. As you know, I made the sweet potato pie. What I didn't tell you is that two shells come in the package. Okay, so everybody asks, what the hell do I do with that second shell? So I'm going to tell you, we're going to make uh, shepherd's pie. Anyway, what you're going to need is the other nine inch round. We're gonna poke holes in this one, blind bake it for about 15 minutes. And you're going to need two of the loaded baked potato from the Idahoian. You're gonna need hamburger. Heinz has come out with a new one, guys. It is Heinz home style gravy mix, brown gravy. That is sliced cheddar. That you'll need, which is peas and carrots. And my assistant today is Russell. Say hi, Russell. Hi. So Russell and I will show you how to put this together. Okay, guys, this is a mix. This is a mix of pork, ground pork, ground beef, and ground veal. So this works better in our shepherd's pie. You don't need to find this. You don't need to use this. If you want to use regular hamburger, you are more than welcome to. So what we're going to do is brown this up, and we'll show you what, what we do after that. All right, as you can see, our hamburger and our... All right, as you can see, this one, one that we poked up holes in so the steam doesn't get underneath and bubble it. So what we're going to do is blind bake this for about 10 minutes. Okay, so there you go. Our mixture has cooked. We're going to add a cup of peas and carrots. We're going to add the brown gravy packet into this, one cup of water, mix it together and let it simmer, and then I'll show you what to do, or my assistant will show you what to do, and how to put it in the pie shop. Alright, as you can see, our peas and carrots are cooking. We don't want these uh, soggy, so we're going to add our packet of gravy mix to this, a uh, cup of water, stir it, and we'll let it thicken and then we'll let this cool a little bit. All right, there is the packet of gravy mix and a cup of water. Like I said, we're just going to let this boil down a little bit and thicken and then we will shut it off, let it cool. Same way with the potatoes, we will let them cool and we'll show you how to put it into the pie shell. All right, guys, that's what you are looking for. We're going to turn the heat off, and we're going to let this cool a little bit. All right, guys, as you see, we put holes in it, so therefore, and whatnot, we didn't have to worry about it bubbling. So we're going to let all of this cool, and we will show you how to put it into the pie shell. Okay. As you can see, we're pretty much full up here. So now my assistant is going to take potatoes, and he's going to put it on top of his topping on in the pie shell. Right, Mr. Russell? Yeah. And then uh, we'll show you what that looks like when it's done. All right, as you can see, my assistant put all the potatoes on top. So now what are we going to put on, on Russell? Cheese, right. So we're going to put a cheese topping on this. We'll show you what that looks like. We are using Slice Sharp, guys. You can get it in the deli. And Buddy is helping too. Go ahead. So this is how you put the cheese on top of the shepherd's pie. Make sure you do not put the paper. And this is why I don't have stuff on my floor, because Buddy is the human vacuum cleaner and eats it up. Okay, put it on the pie. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Alright, so we're going to now put this in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Let it heat up until the uh, cheese is melted and it's bubbly. Put it in the oven. Oven. At 350. At 350. Till it's done. Till it's done. Alright guys, there is our pie. There is our shepherd's pie. So we're just going to take a scoop of it out of here with the crust. Put it on the plate. 
there is the chicken leg quarters that I did in the air fryer. That will be another vlog. Uh, so anyway, if you're new here, please subscribe, hit the notification button, hit the like button, leave a comment, and we will see you in the next video.